If you stuck around till the end of our video that came out on Tuesday about the to trough or not to trough video in the bloopers, you may have noticed that I looked at Mackenzie, did my best Donald Trump impression and said, you're fired. Um, should have had Donald Trump. We should have. Uh, I'm not sure. In. I'm not sure we should have, but anyway. Um, kind of a joke, kind of not. Um, I did not fire Mackenzie, but sadly today is his last day in the Tracy Boards recording studio and with Tracy Boards, period. Because uh, apparently, believe it or not, he has found something that is a better fit. So, one, congratulations on the new opportunity. Thank you. It's, and been, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been it's been a good stretch. It's been a it's been a fun rip. Um, but yeah, what I thought I'd do as his last day, of course we have to play Crokinole, but we're doing Destroy a, me in Crokinole. Well, yeah, there's going to be no, absolutely zero mercy shown. Um, but I thought we'd do much like we did with Ron Langell and something that we're hoping to do more of moving forward. Uh, a Crokinole conversation where it's just going to be us having a chat. Um, tell Mackenzie I'd like to ask him about his new job, what he's excited about moving forward, um, obviously his time here, and maybe some other stuff that, that goes on in his life. Because I, I feel like the, the people that are the true fans uh, of our channel, the mm -hmm. ones that are commenting, either heckling or whatnot, um, they feel like they've gotten to know you. You've been in a few videos, and uh, you know your creativity definitely shows up. And it mm -hmm. will be missed and very difficult to, to replace. So, uh, yeah. Very nice things being said. <laughs> well, and deserved. I, uh, yeah. I'll give a compliment, but I don't, I, I don't blow smoke. Yeah. So, uh, it's, anyway. been, it's been a blast. Um, I was telling someone the other day, I can't remember who I was talking to, but um, some jobs or some careers or some activities that you do, you're looking forward to them being done, but this is not uh, <laughs> not one of them. I'm, uh, yeah, it's like mixed feelings, right? Yeah, yeah. That's it's good. I mean, yeah. uh, maybe life would be easier if you hated us and you hated it here. Exactly. Like, Screw those guys. Glad to be done. Exactly. Move on. Next. Which I'm sure everyone's uh, experienced before. <laughs> rage quitting, or you know, especially when you're younger. Yeah. I rage quitted. Uh, I don't know if I ever rage quitted a job, but. Had many jobs when I was younger. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. So I think so. Your final day here. I should allow you to do the honors and uh, and take first shot. So we're I gonna agree. we're gonna play a match. I don't even care about the score. We're just gonna play. Yes, my intention is to annihilate you, but we'll also also well, have a have a chitter chatter. Hopefully, um, whoever does the scoreboard later. Oh, we're not gonna. Or do maybe there is this. no scoreboard later. Yeah. Well. I mean, one of the things I'm really going to miss is when uh, when people like Simon come over to play, that you edit out all my bad shots. And, oh, if you could edit out that one, that would be great. But, uh, yeah. So, never edited. Never, okay, yeah. Never edited any bad shots. So, we are. They're all authentic. You've been here almost a year. Is that is that accurate? Literally a year. Is it? Did you check? No, but I think it's February. Horrible. It was February 2021. Okay. For sure. And, uh, yeah. So, what is it? I know, but tell your fans out there, Mackenzie. What are you, what are you off to? What's, what's next for Mackenzie Baker? So, good friend of mine and your neighbor, Jack Two. Oh, okay. His brother, who I've known for seven, eight years, he runs a hot tub, a hot tub store. In Mississauga, they sell swim spas and hot tubs. So, me and him, we've been friends forever, but um, now we're working together. Cool. So, kind of an opportunity that came out just through knowing the right people, right? That not that the way? And that's how you ended up here. Also through Jack. Yes. Your see neighbor. That? Did you see that? Saw that. Do you see that shot? Proper. It's pretty good, eh? It's proper. <laughs> I won't be... <laughs> I'll try to do this. Um, well, yeah, I was, <clears throat> I got laid off from my sales job six months into COVID or something. Right. So then right around Christmas 2020, Jack and I would have been talking about opportunities or what I was going to do next. And he was like, um, go to Elmira, go down the street to the shop mm. and go in and talk to Jeremy. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll go, I'll go tonight. And uh, walked in 
And you were there, I think by yourself. Yeah. I didn't meet your kids then. Yeah. But what am I going to do here? Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is your going away present, Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> like, technically, I can hit it, but you got to be skilled. Did you watch the trough or not trough video? Like. I know, right? <laughs> oh. Good rip. But, um, yeah, I walked in. It was, I, that's how I know it was February. It was cold. We met, and, uh. Nice. <laughs> when we met, you were expecting me to be a woman, actually. I remember that. I remember Jack, Jack that. Jack gave you a heads up. He was like, Mackenzie's coming to see you yep. about a job. Yep. And uh, that's I, my whole life. People think I'm a, a woman. In emails or like bank statements say yeah. Mrs. Mackenzie Baker. I'm like, yeah. So. It was funny because uh, I don't normally do this, but I actually creeped you on... Uh, I didn't really... Wow. I went on Facebook and I looked up your name and I yeah. saw the picture of you and your wife. So you thought I was a Asian woman. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you walked oh, in. I'm like, oh, oh, the other guy, <laughs> the other half. There you go. There you, you go. Yep. <laughs> Proper finish. That was my only chance was to, with my skill level, <laughs> going through my own. So. But, uh... And that's right. what we met. We're not keeping score, but it's two nothing. It is. <laughs> you guys, how can you? It's your up, yeah. So yeah, it's that's been, been uh, that's been a year. It's and been a great year. Yeah. And my, how how my role started was not. We weren't necessarily focused on the channel, or doing videos every week. Because um, I was in the I was in the shop mm -hmm. doing more administrative stuff in the yep. beginning. So I don't even know how we got here, but yeah, it was like because uh, I remember back in the day I used to do videos and and before things got like crazy busy for us, and I always wanted to get back to it, but all the technical side, the editing, I just kind of bogs me down and and zaps my creativity. So I it's hard doing you. everything by yourself. Yeah, I'm like, hey, do you want to give this a go? And uh, we came and tried it, and I guess it worked. Or at least we thought it did. Yeah, yeah. Um, Started working well together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and now uh, I can't remember the last time. Well, you've gone down to the shop and had coffee with the boys, but uh, mostly, mostly you're here. You're the video and, and social media guy. Yeah. So it's fun just waking up and going to your boss's house every day. There you go. Coffee. Studio we, we basement. Give, coffee. Give you coffee. Yep. Always get fed. The proper amount of caffeine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Drift, Tokyo drift. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your your new role. Um, yes, yeah, you're in Mississauga. Sales, like you're you're doing sales, or yeah. you will be doing sales. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I needed that yeah, one. I've been going into the store for the last three weeks, so yep. I've been learning a lot about hot tubs. I betcha. And swim spas. You know what a swim spa is? Not really. It's like a... It's like a... Oh, thank you. That was a mistake. Instead of an in-ground pool, you get... It's a... It's above ground. And it's heated. How big? And it will shoot... You can get like 13 footer, 13 by 8. So you're like swimming against the current? 15 by 8, and it produces a current, yeah. It's for working out. It's yeah. Literally, you can front crawl full speed. Okay. So So can you control it? Like, exactly. depending on how, okay. Different, you turn on low power, high power, that type of so thing. So those more intended to be inside or outside? Both. Okay. But most people put it in their backyard and like build decks around them or something okay. like that. Yeah. So but they're heated. Heated, like, in the summer, obviously you don't want to... In the winter, they go up to... You know, 95 degrees, which is like your hot tub is going to be 100 to 104, somewhere right. in that range. Yeah. So you can crank it up to 90, 95 degrees in yep. the winter. So go in all winter, have a nice warm swim. And that but comes then, with a cover, I would assume. Yeah. Because you, you, like, you just lose heating. a ton of heat. Yeah. But then in the summer, you can turn it down to 80. Right. Okay. 75 if you want to. You know you're Canadian, right? So you should speak in Celsius. All the, I know, I know. All, all the American viewers are appreciating you being Americanized. But but even, why do we speak in uh, water temperature? We speak in Fahrenheit, don't we? I don't know. 
I mean, I don't usually speak in water temperature. I don't know why, but in air temperature. Yeah. Why would you ever speak in Fahrenheit? You gotta go out with a banger yeah, yeah. <laughs> and offend people on your way out the door. No, I know. Um, is America the weird one, or are we the weird ones? Well, depends who you ask. But what's right the, now? You're asking the Canadians. What's so I'd the, say the Americans <laughs> are the weird ones? <laughs> what's I have so many fr American friends and family. So, okay, America is a great country. Yeah, Canada's good too. There's a lot of good countries. Mm-hmm. North Korea, for example. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Next subject. Uh, 20. Wow. That was a uh, super Steve. Actually, super I believe Steve. you steve the shit out of it because you hit the rail on the far side. Yeah. Literally. So yeah, the, uh, I mean, do you, do you, uh, leading question, but do you feel, do you feel your crokinole skills have improved over the past year being here? Yeah, so I had never played crokinole. I played once when I was 12 years old, I believe. Mm -hmm. My grandparents' 50th anniversary. It was an octagon. Oh, no. The sin of it, the sin <laughs> of it. But, um, yeah, it was a fun time. I remember having fun and, and just playing around. And then never saw a crokinole board again until... So we met, so my skills have improved, but um and Jeremy gave me a board. I was gonna I, say, like I don't really wanna set I that started. precedent moving forward. I'm not sure I wanna I'm not sure I wanna offer that signing bonus to every employee that I ever hire, but well, in this case I mean Yeah. It was a, in this case when it came on and we talked to when you came on and we talked about it, I'm like, dude, if you're gonna be part of this business, you've got to you gotta know what this game is. Yeah. So uh yeah. But you've got not a bad precedent to set anyway. You've got three littles at home. Three kids under six right now. Yep. It's a blast in the household. Yep. My wife Christina is um, a saint. Saint superwoman. Yeah, she's uh, she's amazing. Is that it? Yep. All right. That's it. Six or eight, nothing. I'm not keeping score though. Yeah, I'm not keeping score either. I just. As long as I keep winning. As long as we uh, don't lose a match. Right. <laughs> or a game. Even a round. <laughs> there was one round I thought you had me there, so... Uh, Close. Yeah. Who is a uh, hammer there? That was my hammer, so I guess I start. Good call. Yeah, Christina and I got married young, like you. Yep. You guys got married at 21, 22? Uh, yeah, Reed was born when I was 21. I think uh, it was right, it was shortly after that. Yeah, we had, uh, we put the cart before the horse. Reed was eight months old when we got married, so I would have been 22. Elaine is um, a little more mature than me. Right. By uh, almost three years. So she wasn't quite really? as. Really? Yeah. She wasn't quite as young and innocent as I was, but I wouldn't go over the hole if you don't have to, but. If you're feeling confident. I was. Your la it could be your last free tip. The half hole. Yeah. I was excited about. <clears throat> Did you guys meet when you were younger? Did you date for quite a while? Uh, I would have been, uh, I took a year of college after university. I would have been like halfway through that. So I was 18 when we met and she would have been 21 at that time. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, I guess it wasn't that long because what was your first date like? Like, how did you? Oh, we probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> how did you? How did you um, like ask her out? Um, yeah, like many things in my life, it just kind of happened. Um, <laughs> um, when we yeah. met, uh, she actually uh, she quite she quite disliked me. That's uh, how it, it goes. It was a very it was a very strong dislike for me. Um, but yeah, it, it took me a while, but I eventually, I eventually won her over. I'm, I'm nothing if I'm not determined. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, similar, similar, very determined. <laughs> we met when we were 14 and just were fighting in class, you know? You pulled her hair. Basically. Right. A lot of bickering back and forth. Well, that's what you do when you're 14, like at, at, you know, by the time you're approaching 20, pulling a girl's hair really isn't... It's a tough look. ...isn't really how you... Hey, uh, Probably get beat up if she has brothers or a father worth it. Oh no, 
Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she would have taken care of it herself. That's yeah. it. That's um, it. Yeah. Yeah. We've thrown down. <laughs> Boxing gloves, the whole deal. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that was bad. Getting married young and uh, it's a blast. Yeah. If you find the right person when you're young, I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Day, mar- if you don't, if marriage you don't, and relationship tips from Mac. If you yeah. don't, um, if you don't meet the right person, then keep looking. Don't, it's so funny. We'll uh, don't settle for average, you know. Sometimes, as you do as a family, you sit around, you get telling stories from yesteryear, and that. Our, our boys are, I, yeah, not boys anymore. Reed's 23, Garrett's 21, Nolan's 19. So we get sitting around telling stories. Fully from, sprouted. Yeah, from back in the day. And uh, I remember the one night, I think it was Nolan piped up after hearing a few stories. And he's like, you know what? I hear all these stories. Dad, I can understand why you wanted to date mom. But mom, what the hell were you thinking, right? <laughs> What were you doing with this DJ? Right? Uh, <laughs> Apparently, she saw some potential uh, somewhere. Somewhere, she's like, "Yeah, I can, I can, I can buff this diamond." She's still working on it. They gotta buff but, us out. Uh, they yeah. gotta buff us out. My twenty game is strong. Oh, yeah, it was a. Uh, it's an unfortunate miss. There's an opening here for you. But you didn't take it. <clears throat> and I opened the door. Okay. So, um, once uh, it sounds like, got my ear to the ground on these things, it sounds like. Bugger. Oh, that was close. Um, it sounds like uh, some crokinole tournaments could be starting up. So I'm wondering if we've got you addicted enough to this great game that you might uh, you might grace us with your presence. I would love to participate, compete. Yeah. I would go into competitive, whatever the top level is. Yeah, yeah. Because like, that's where you, that's just how I am, you know. Yeah. And I, I think you'd hold your own. I mean, obviously there's there's levels to this game, but. I'd have uh, to. I have to practice. That's for sure. When you're going to a tournament, do you like a week out? Do you play a lot? We uh, we used to play a lot more when there was more tournaments going on. Like Reed and I used to sit down like three, four, five nights a week, and we'd play and chat and whatnot. And quite honestly, lately we haven't played as much without the pressure. Um, I say pressure without the excitement and enthusiasm of oh, you know, you got this. Uh, we got this tournament or that tournament coming up that we want to practice for. Um, I know that definitely leading into Worlds, there was, you'd see uh, an uptick in how much how much Crokinole is played. But, um, right. so yeah, and apparently I think it's about to be announced the U.S. Open, which I'm, my intention is to attend that. A great doubles tournament down in Voorheesville, New York. I absolutely uh, love to be able to attend that. That's my plan. You're saying that's in May? Yeah, I think so. Um, Who runs that? Yeah, I probably shouldn't say too much about it because uh, it's the Extra Pint Club, Jason Malloy. I don't know the exact details, so mm. I don't want to. I don't want to misquote anything that's going out on a video. But gotcha. I just know they're in the works of announcing that, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, I think there's a chance that Reed and I are going to partner up, which would be. I just, yeah, it'd be pretty awesome to go with Reed and do something that wasn't work. That's uh, yeah. pros and cons to working in a family business. But, no doubt. Um, doubles, they do singles and doubles usually? They just do doubles. Oh, just doubles. Yeah, they they play a lot more doubles there. Just doubles? in general, which is a great, yeah, it's doubles great. Doubles is fun. Yeah. Um, Definitely. But yeah, given that it's your last day, let's uh, flip the script back to you and... Um, I was just saying to you before, off air, off camera, that uh, off air, that uh, you have a. How would you describe it? You have a side business, or how? What wording would you put on it? Yeah, just you know, build. I've always been interested when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess that's when it started. Ugh. Super Steve. 
always interested in entrepreneurship and building businesses, building financial assets. That's always been something that's top of mind. So yep. when I had the opportunity to, Christine and I started our own business together when we were 20. And uh, just meeting the right people. Okay. That's how that started. And what is that business? I know what it is, but obviously. Yeah, so. Yeah, you've never, it's been a year, you've never talked about it. What's your business now? Building the Amway business model. Yeah. Through, um, through our mentorship program called Remaking Champions. Okay. That's been literally a 10 year journey. It's funny, it's like to get to any level in any sport or that was close to sick. Wow. Any any level of success in anything, it takes time. <laughs> Except that didn't take any time. There's your parting gift. There it is. And a host rule at the Tracy House. I have to put that in my cup. And uh, it's your blast. Love it. So Amway is a network marketing company. Or uh, yep. what do they call it? Um, community? There's different there's different terms for it, but it's tons uh, of terms out there. Tons of uh, names for it. But basically, for my from my perspective, it's a it's an economical system. It's just a way of doing business. Yeah. Right. Um, as I've told you before, I am a huge fan of network marketing. I think it is amazing. Uh, oftentimes, I feel that network marketing companies have better quality products than standard and just the, yeah the community that gets built the personal development that's involved in it um, mm -hmm. huge fan of it I've been involved in network marketing companies some more successful than others yeah um, actually when I was 18 like Jack and Abel, our current mentors and the current business we have we started that at 20 but when I was 18 I met a guy I was working in my dad's um, where he worked at the time mm -hmm building trailers, fifth yep. wheels. Um, Guess what? Oh, that was Hammer. Yeah, you win the rounds. I thought I needed a 20 there, but. Congrats. It's because of that crazy shot, and you helped me out as well. Um, yeah, it's because you won. I, yeah. It's because I won. I don't believe in luck. So. I was Hammer, I start. Yeah, yeah. So I was working at my dad's factory when I was 18 and met a guy who, um, was building his own business as well and we started he started teaching me a lot when I was 18 and like th that business it was a great business it's no longer doesn't even exist anymore okay yeah. but you know I learned a lot from him and he was a great guy yeah had six kids wow and I was like I want a lot of kids I want a big family you yeah know? even even at that age at 18 I knew I wanted to you know settle down me and Christina were together at the time yeah maybe had uh when we were younger going through a lot of tough times in our relationship a lot of ups and downs but i wow. still knew yeah i still knew i wanted to settle down and, and have kids and have a family yeah but wherever that came from mm. i guess i had a decent sized household growing up too six kids in our family too so And yeah, I, I think it's unfortunate, but there there are times that um, network marketing gets a bad rap, and people, oh, it's a Ponzi scheme mm. or it's a pyramid scheme, and, and and I mean the truth is, it is the industry is so well regulated now um, For sure. that yeah, I, I just I don't even think that's a thing anymore. Um, no, I'm sure yeah. there's still Ponzi schemes going on, but uh, yeah, there's so much more. I mean, if you ever the, see one, let me know because I have never seen one. a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, like, hey, yeah. put money in the hat. Yeah. Then... I remember one from like when I would have been 19 or 20. That, uh... Someone approached you? Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, let's do something fancy here. Someone that works with uh, what were you trying to do? I was trying to bump that in. The angle wasn't quite right, but I wanted to try it anyway. But uh, yeah, I, did, I think that based on what I've seen over the years with the different people that I've known that are involved in it, that 
there is so much personal development and people challenging their comfort zone and like and knowing i mean i don't know obviously i don't know everything about what jack and april do as your mentors and your business but i know i just know from being around that uh the community the community that that uh, your group is building is absolutely amazing and uh, yeah jack's a really good guy huge heart and uh, I mean, this is just a this is just a vehicle for him to share that, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's how I see it, right? Yeah, as well. Just being around people, just like people who are living a similar lifestyle that yep. you aspire to, especially yeah. young people, yeah, who see the path that their parents went, and don't want to produce the same results. Mm -hmm. You know, just the traditional game plan of. Working the same job or career for 70, 40, 50, 60 years. Yep. Yeah. Just an alternative to that, right? You've made the comment uh, a number of times that um, with us, like with you and I working together, just how how easy it is, the flow, the, the chemistry yeah. of us with the videos and whatnot. And I think a lot of that is because we've just got so many values in common. Yeah. The, the entrepreneurship, the independence, the like just... The, we have so many of the same values of health and, and yeah, I won't go any further down that path, but um, yeah. Being Being healthy, taking yes. care of yourself. Yes. Working out, trying yeah. to eat, you know, no one's perfect, but just, yeah. Sweet food stuff. Value. <laughs> Val Is it you first? I think so, yeah. Value um, taking care of yourself and yeah. being an example to your kids and people who are around you in the community that yeah, I, I remember that being one of the things you said when you came here is that you were you were excited to work for within a family and just and I mean, uh, yeah. When whenever I talk to Reed and Nolan, Garrett too, but I mean uh, the boy that Reed and Nolan still live here where Garrett's off at university now, mm -hmm. but uh, I will say to them when like when I'm talking about Elaine, I'm like, well, your mother said this, and there's been a couple of times that I've almost said that to you. Like I'll be talking, and you go, oh, your mother said, I'll go, wait a minute, Elaine's not your mother. <laughs> That's right. I became the fourth son pretty quickly. <laughs> Somebody asked that one day, didn't they? If you were... Oh, yeah. Um, Especially at the shop. Yeah. Which I took offense to. I mean, you think I'm old enough to have that old codger as a kid? Huh? <laughs> so old. And actually, when I think about it, you're you're closer to Reed's age than my age. So... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and I are only... What, seven years apart? So, yeah, seven or eight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice in. And you need it to come in because you're down in the push point in. Count. I'm not going to let you have it that easy, though. Don't I know it. I'm going to leave you in a dirty spot, make you work for it. Wow. Brock in. Let's go. So, another leading question. Oh, Super Steve. What talking about? What, uh... That's why you always bring them back to the middle. What were your top three favorite videos that we did? Top three? Sure. I was going to say one, but like, I mean, there'd, well, be, there'd be ones you liked for different reasons. There's so. different types of videos, right? Yep. Um, whether it was a skills tip Ooh. or a funny video that we had a lot of fun making. Yep. Did Those we... were the... We, we had fun <laughs> at times. <laughs> what was the one where we were out on the street? That was the when like the you came to the door peddling yeah. peddling your what, Bible. What was the point of that video though? Oh, it was just different ways to share crokinole. Sharing crokinole. Yeah, right. it was. I think that was sharing crokinole volume two. <clears throat> we made a few of those. Yeah, those were fun. Um, or the nice shot, the frolfing one. Frolfing, remind me. The disc golf when I threw the crokinole oh, board. Sharing crokinole as well, yeah. Yeah, that was another sharing crokinole one. Yeah. That was when uh, you lost your earbud in the snow because you let me use the, it. was something to do with the recording. The air, like, AirPod, yeah. I needed to have the AirPod in, and Garrett rolled up the great big snowball and threw it at me. And uh, somehow in the mix of all that, your your Apple Air AirBud <laughs> falls out of Jeremy's head, and it's literally snow everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's Garrett and I scouring around, and you're like, do you know what I think is funny? You two think you actually have a chance to find that. <laughs> well, there's like a find, you can find it on GPS with your phone. Right. But that doesn't help you. I was excited to use that feature. Right. And then he, you pointed out, 
That's not going to pinpoint exactly. <laughs> it's not going to show you. <laughs> no, it didn't work at all. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Those, I, are, those are fun to make. I mean, anything, um, anything that was fun to edit, you know, where you got to string a lot of different things together. Every, Lord knows I love uh, movie, my movie clips. <laughs> Things that make no sense to most people, but it's funny to me, so... Actually, a lot of times, I would do something... Tied round. Is that well, tied up? Yeah. Wow. Good shooting text. I would put a movie clip in a video, and you would be like... You would, you would watch it before I posted it, and be like... So, I don't know if this was like a mistake, or I don't understand why this random three-second movie clip is in here. And I'm like... There's no point of explaining it, but it makes sense. What was the one clip, I don't even know what it was from, where the one guy was screaming in the other guy's face, I will break <laughs> your chocolate milk, and you're busting a gut, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I think that was one that I actually did. You cut that one out. I think I was like, no, no, no. He no used, uh, sorry. He used his uh, authoritative yes. uh, position to. I think there were but more. But it, did, it didn't fit. It really, I was stretching to get it in. It just didn't fit. But it's, um, just look it up. There will be blood. Uh, milkshake. Just look that up on YouTube. Yeah, and tell me how it fits in any pro girl video ever. <laughs> Please tell me. Yeah. It's a very funny part in a serious movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think there were more times it was funny because like, you would do the first round of editing and then you'd sit here while I watched it mm. and I'd be watching the video and some clip would pop up and I'd pause and turn around and go. Be like, trust me. But yeah, there were a few times where you'd be like, trust me. I'm like, all right, I trust you. Yep. All right. This is not good strategy in this situation, but it's going to be fun. So, oh no, I didn't do that not right. Good. Yeah, I wanted to leave mine here and yours there. I wanted to hoodwink right. you. One last time. The hood winking. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Nice. I want to play against you after you don't work here anymore because you say you say things like that, like "Wow, thank you," and I just wonder if you'll still be that nice. Of course. Positive. That is true. Positive energy. That right? is true. Uplifting and encouraging. There you go. As best I can. Enthusiasm is the re the yeast that rises the dough. Isn't that what they say? Something like that. Oh, oh. Am I gonna be mean? I don't want to be mean to you again. You I should. Gonna, I was gonna leave it right here, but I actually I'm I kind of want anyway. I kind of okay. want to try this angle in. So. I don't want to try it. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that setup. <clears throat> so yeah, did you ever boil it down? Top three favorite videos? Um, probably. What was the the crocodile humor? The that's probably my favorite video. Um, the like the hockey player. Hockey one? player interviews. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Obviously, I, mean, I I played hockey my whole life, and um, it was fun doing that interview style. Yeah. <clears throat> It actually took, um, we took a lot of takes. Oh man, a lot so of many takes. takes. I we, still were, I, we were crying. I was yes. crying many times. Just because when you're face to face with someone and you're doing that and you're not, I'm not a professional actor, so. Oh yeah, you are. You are now. You got paid to act. Yeah. That is the definition of a professional actor. Literally can't get through your lines. Because we had written lines, but then we would ad lib certain things. Yeah. There was the there was one that I had to. I remember when we we took it so many times, and I eventually so I had my hat on backwards when we were doing it. I'm like, I can't look at your face, so I turned my hat around, put my be so I would just drop my head enough that I couldn't quite see your face because there was one point. I think there was something I said, and you go, like your face would just go, <laughs> which was fit perfectly but every time I saw it out of the corner of my eye I crack so finally yeah. I'm like alright hat down I can't look at you yeah I'm like trying to make my bicep cramp to distract me from from laughing but uh, 
Yeah. And um, like from a technical standpoint, I think how to flick your disc. Yeah. Is like for any beginner or anyone trying to figure out their style. Yeah. Because most people, not most, but I see some people who are playing for the first time maybe, and they just have no idea. Yeah. How to even the basics. Yeah. So teaching that is important. I hadn't really thought of it before, but I was just thinking now that, I mean, obviously this is winding the clock way back because it was like three years ago that I did the, uh, I did the whole video with the rules and, and yeah. that's the one where I had the great big beard and I slowly trimmed it. We recorded the video in reverse. Genius idea. But oh, it was great. Genius. And I, I would have been so much better if you had, if you had been here then, because I think you could have like, I mean, you would add it like 30% value to that, if not more. Sure. And, uh, and we've, played with it. we've improved our audio setup a lot since then too. So, cause the audio was pretty much crap back then in my dining room, nothing to absorb the sound, nothing but just reverb. the camera. It's yeah. It sounds like I've got my head in a bucket. Like, it's funny to look back at, at the videos. Even the videos that we first made together. The very first one we Compared did to now. was the uh, round versus octagon. Okay, that was an awesome video. That was, yeah, that was good. It was a good it was, start. It was fun to yeah. make. It was very, it was, Elaine and I have this debate all the time, but I think that was a positive omen. And she tells me that an omen has to be negative. I'm like, why? Why does an omen have to be negative? Why? I've looked up the definition. We've argued. I'm pretty sure I've lost, but. Uh, You're still fighting. Still fighting for. That was, that was nice. That's nice. No yes. conceit in my family. I've got it all. What? Oh, oh. Ooh. To stay in the round. Two extra points. So I think what you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to keep an eye on the YouTube channel. Uh, yep. One for the comments from this because yeah, I I really. I'm a subscriber. Cool. Well, you better be. <laughs> um, <laughs> Will you be tomorrow, or is that the first thing you're doing? Is... Oh, unsubscribe instantly. Right. I'll be watching my subscriber count. No, that'll be um, fun. And, yeah, when uh, someone tries to fill your shoes and you can come on and, and see the... Get Mac back. Offer him ten boards as a signing bonus to come back. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, will you come back, or will you just take the board? <laughs> just take the bonus. Is yeah. there a, what's the opposite of a signing bonus? Like when you're leaving. A leaving? A leaving. Um, I think it's a pink slip. It's firing someone and um, giving them a foot in the ass. I know there's companies that like once you've been there for X amount of years, you get like a watch or different things like that. Um, right. I don't. I don't think there's usually a ton of rewards at the one year point, but I could be wrong. How sad is that? If you give your 30 years to a company and when you left, they just gave you a watch. <laughs> I think that's a thing. Well, I hope it's a nice watch. Well, I mean, and I hope it's yeah. a bright line. Then, then the debate is, did, I mean, oh. did, did you give them? You win another round. Um, I don't really think, I don't, oh. yeah, you won again. I had three 20s, but you've got two 20s and 25 points that's right. at 30 points. It doesn't really matter whether that's a 10 it's, or a 15. Oh, doesn't no. matter because even if it's a 10 you're at 25 yeah so it's a, definitely a 10. um yeah i don't think an employee gives 30 years of their life to a company um right they chose to stay there and trade their time for money for that 30 years and mm. i assume they just thought that was a good choice good trade yeah okay. good transfer of now we're getting deep and philosophical why not right why not i think assuming um, it was my shot it is. I think we'll probably make this our last round. Okay. Because I hear the boys home for lunch, and uh, Elaine has put on a pot of that special <laughs> hazelnut coffee she makes sometimes. So you should come up and see the boys. For see sure. your see your brothers. See my brothers. How's <laughs> brothers from a different mother. What? Famous coffee breaks. We've yeah. Had. Yeah. Oh, I wanted the double. Um, and you're probably hungry if it's lunchtime. Ah, I'm getting there. Are you still intermittent fasting? Yeah. I usually, my eating window is usually from noon till, till eight. Right. Um, I'm not super strict on that. Yeah. But uh, I should. Ah, should. No one likes to be should upon. But uh, probably the more, 
the more interesting health thing that I do is I restarted. I used to do it. I got away from it, and uh, nice try. Uh, really glad that I've gotten back to it. Again, this isn't good strategy, but I'm going to roll in because I want to try it. Come on in. Water's warm. Yes, that's a Hutch Daddy expression. Um, Actually, it's something he says at the Coconut Boy. It's not his expression. It's not like he invented. Come on in, the water's warm. I'm pretty sure that was Mr. Rogers, but um, he said it in Crokinole, and it's That's funny. Um, Mr. Rogers. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, I've gotten back to uh, ice showers. Really? Oh, it fell. That's still on? It fell. It's still on. Yeah, it was a nice shot. The ice showers. Yeah, except I used to just do a five minute ice shower. So I get, I, first thing in the morning, I stand in front of my Juve red light therapy for 20 minutes. Right. And then I used to go straight from that to a five minute ice shower. No but warm water at all? No. Just put it on ice cold. Just pure. Jump in, start the timer, five minutes, done. Um, anyway, what I'm doing, what I've restarted like a week or two ago. Um, I do the ice shower, but it is 20 minutes ice cold, or 20 minutes, 20 seconds ice cold, 10 seconds like lukewarm, and you go back and Ultimate. forth. And I was dealing with um, my is it better. Um, I don't know. I don't because it's been, it's been a long time since I've done the straight five minutes, but I in a way it's easier because you get that little bit of relief. But in another way, it's harder because you get that 10 seconds goes by so fast. I swear to God, 20 seconds is five <laughs> times as long as 10 seconds. But every time you get that re-jam, and uh, it started to get a little bit easier, but that first one, the first time you go and rank it, oh my, you just go. <gasps> it was like the first or second day when I restarted it, and I come upstairs afterward, and Reed was sitting there having coffee. He's like, Dad, what the hell are you going through down there? I'm like, I was doing a nice shower. He goes, oh, oh, fair enough. I could just hear you. I'm like, yeah, I was doing some singing and dancing and maybe uh -huh. a little bit of cursing to, to get uh -huh. my way through it. But my neck was giving me grief and um, it was amazing. I know ice showers are good for inflammation, but I was blown away at how immediate the difference was. Mm. Like, especially, like when I wake up in the morning was when it was the worst and I kind of loosen things up a little bit in front of the juve and then like it would take the pain from a, on a scale of one to ten, it would take it from like a six down to a two, and like uh -oh. in that five minutes. And I mean, was it actually a six? I don't know. They say child births an eight or a ten. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. It wasn't agony, <laughs> but I. It was reducing the the discomfort by like sixty to eighty percent, just immediately, maybe more, just immediately. Um, but it's it, the other really thing that's cool with that. You win again. Um, what a great note to end on. Well done. Yeah. Good game. The other really cool thing with the ice shower is that you finish, and when, when I'm done, then I turn the water up to warm and even get it over to hot to warm up or else I'm like cold for hours afterward. Right. But I'd be standing there with hot water pouring over my body, and I'm shivering because of that, like how much it drops your core temperature while you do it. It's a it. weird sensation. It is very weird. I um, like a cold shower after working out. It's pretty awesome. But other than that, I'm going to... But I mean, for some shower. people, a cold shower just means they move it a little bit to the right of the center. Yeah. And they're like, "Ooh, that was a cold shower." Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean to do to You've do got what, a fully cranked cold. Yeah, like I mean, mine. It's you turn it on and it's that cold, and then you come up to here. So I'm going over so far, like I feel the pressure start to drop. So it goes as like as cold as it'll let you go. Yeah. And even that, I know it isn't as cold or as challenging as actually getting into an ice bath. I've done that once, and yeah, it's tough. That's, but the the health benefits are amazing, so. I would love to do it in an ice bath just to see what it feels like one time. I mean, like I said, the boys are upstairs. Like we can take you and hold you in a tub if you want. <laughs> and just in the snow. We should uh, naked. Do you want to get a safe word before we start? <laughs> we should definitely have a safe word. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Any any final words from Mac Daddy? Video editor, social media dude extraordinaire to your to have your fans. fun, have fun. I'm sure you'll see me again at some point, and um, yeah, have fun playing the greatest game on earth. There it is, awesome man. That's Thanks it. for everything. Let's go have a coffee. Let's do it. <laughs>